Welcome back to the Reload Bench. In a previous video I did an unboxing of these Cold War era Soviet issue GP5 gas mask kits that include the SCH M62 gas mask. The gas mask uses this filter however the filter has asbestos in it. Now it's supposed to be safe to use as the asbestos is suspended inside the filter and unless the filter is damaged there there shouldn't be any danger. However I don't want to use it I'm just going to keep it as is for collecting purposes. So what would I do if I wanted to use this gas mask make it functional? Well supposedly it doesn't work with a standard NATO filter. Here I have a French 40 millimeter filter that should work with any NATO gas mask to include US gas masks. So I'm simply going to try to thread it into this piece here and what do you know it seems to fit. However I was under the impression that it wouldn't fit at all. So what I did was I bought some adapters. Be that as it may, let's go ahead and try out these adapters that I bought. Now I got them on eBay and there was a volume discount. The more you bought the less you paid per unit and of course there was free shipping and you guys know I'm a sucker for free shipping. Came in in about three days, three business days. These are probably something that somebody's 3D printing. but. This is supposed to be an adapter to convert a Soviet mask to fit NATO filters. So each one of these plastic adapters is threaded on the inside and the outside. Just looks like a reducer. And there's a uh, rubber seal in here that kind of drops in just like kind of like on a garden hose really. So let's try this out and see what difference this makes. I'll go ahead and uh, I guess what thread it in here. So I'm threading in the, uh, the smaller diameter, the male end, into the Soviet mask. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this French NATO filter and thread it in. Now that makes it protrude out more, but maybe this is going to get a better seal. You definitely don't want to have any sort of situation where where anything can get inside. So the adapter seems to fit pretty good here, but once again, I was able to screw it in and there doesn't seem to be any slop in there. So it's probably prudent to go ahead and use this adapter. just in case. But this Soviet mask might work just fine with a NATO filter. Now to try it on. So here it is. The mask with the filter and adapter. Now even though the filter went on fine without the adapter, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. It does make it stick out a little bit further from my chin but it's really not that heavy. Maybe after wearing it all day long, it might create a little bit of fatigue in the neck. But you can see how the mask fits around the head. This uh, rubber is uh, pretty tight, but it's not uncomfortable. It really isn't. It's about as comfortable or uncomfortable as an American mask. The anti-fog inserts that I put uh, on, the, on the mask in the last video seem to be doing their job. If it fogs up just a little bit, it goes away quickly. Uh, I can breathe pretty good with this. It's, it seems to be doing the job. This, might, this mask might actually function, say, in a situation where you had to use it uh, in tear gas or something. I don't know about anything beyond that. However, if you're going for a particular look, maybe you want a prop or a Halloween costume or whatnot, this mask does fit the bill. It's hideous, with or without the filter. I'll go ahead and include a link in the description section below where you can get this adapter, where I got the filter, and where I got the mask. Thanks for watching.